material A costs $3 per kilogram and material B costs $5 per kilogram. If 10 kilograms of material K consists of X kilograms of A and Y kilograms of B, then is X greater than Y? So we know that if we add X plus Y, we should get the full 10 kilograms. And we'd just like to know which one is bigger, X or Y. So statement number one tells us that Y is greater than four. Well, that's not particularly helpful because if Y is greater than four, then Y could be, y could be five, in which case X would be five or y could be 7, in which case x would be 3, or y could be 4.5, in which case x could be 5.5. There's no guarantee here that the number of kilograms is an integer. And so for various possibilities, y would either be less than or equal to or greater than x. So this is completely useless for trying to answer the statement. This is about as useful as a one-legged man as a butt-kicking contest. So, statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two, the total cost of 10 kilograms of material K is less than $40. Well, that's interesting. Let's think about this. If we had 10 kilograms of all A, that would be 30 bucks. If we had 10 kilograms of all B, that would be 50 bucks. If we had exactly half and half, so five of A and five kilograms of B, well, that would be 40 bucks. And so in order to make the price less than 40, that would mean that we'd want to have more A and less B. We want more of the cheaper one, A. So in other words, this statement does allow us to realize that the amount of A has to be more than five kilograms. The amount of B has to be less than five kilograms. So this does in fact provide an answer to the question. This is sufficient. Question statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two, sufficient. Answer choice B.